I don't want to say guess where I am when I'm in Newport. Anyway, this is the Saturday wrap for Saturday the 26th of June 2021. It's just finished raining. It's quarter past seven in the morning and Costa's website lies. Oh, hum. Anyway, on with the Saturday wrap. Anyway, good morning and um, welcome to the Saturday wrap indoors at the John Wallace Linton where the Wi-Fi is down yeah <laughs> um, none of these things happen um, it's transmitting you just can't get an IP address and that's on Android and iPhone and the lady said that they'd had them out before and they'd fixed it and they probably haven't although they're gonna get it upgraded which is good news so what happened last week um, a week ending Saturday the 26th of June 2021 okay so um, mm, word of the week hypocrisy hypocrisy UEFA officials from Europe come to the UK um, uh, no self-isolating quarantine stuff yet going the other way Miss Merkel and Mr. Macron want us to quarantine. I noticed that when they back went back from the Q7, seven whatever it was, they didn't quarantine. Yeah, one rule for the plebs, uh, one rule for everyone else. And talking of that, Mr. Hancock, um, not exactly two meters away from a colleague of his who was an aide paid for by the taxpayer whose company has got a PPE deal. Where do I stop? Um, and Boris can't sack him because Boris is a bit handy as well. Legal advice says um, it's against the law and he could be fine, but he won't be because hypocrisy. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, hypocrisy on my part. Yeah, um, there used to be the naughty organisation company. Now they really are. But they still make mighty fine beers, and this is where beer and politics come together, and... Anyway. Is it safe to eat bacon? I wonder. Oh, app of the week. In the week of Windows 11. This is something from Windows 10. And it's free, and it's installed automatically if your device has a camera. So, a laptop it's the Windows camera and nothing over the top uh, gives you a rule of thirds um, goes up to 1080p and it's a nice little device it's really good okay you don't get lower thirds but what do you expect for free but I like it I respect it I need some beer hazy Jane hazy in color so the week um okay craft republic five minutes walk from the sir samuel romilly which wi-fi did work and is rather fast um it's in a long sort of brick building on the other side so it's quite easy to walk straight past it uh, it's wi-fi was down and the building it was in had wi-fi and that didn't work either and three was only just adequate however we'll revisit lots of great beers a, a little button round thing on the table press it they come up to you square terminal type it in nfc we're done beer comes in excellent uh was only able to book for two and a half hours yet um they didn't kick me out until four o'clock I and mean, that was only because someone else was coming very friendly, dog friendly, clean toilets, and lots of beers. Did a pretty good trade in growlers as well. Sunday, Wales went through. I didn't think that they would, but they did. <laughs> and they're playing tonight. 
Um, what? Oh yeah, Amsterdam, where Wales fans are banned from, unless you live in The Hague. And the tickets for Wales fans have been given to the Danish fans. My own opinion is, I think Denmark might win, will win. But on the outside, Gareth Bale may not sky it and might actually score. So who knows? I like the football. It's keeping me going, um, despite the rank hypocrisy. Especially in the week, with Chigwell. Deliberately mispronounced. Okay, so Monday was the longest day. Which means from now on, um, shorter days, uh, drawing in mornings, earlier nights, and such like. And spoons? Spoons change their menu. There are no longer curry Thursdays, or steak Tuesdays, or fish Fridays. You can have them on all days. They're just truncated in the menu. And the thing is, no bargies. No bargies. I feel an email coming on to Mr. Tim or whatever he's called. You know, mind you, Thai, who went over the tumble yesterday, had Mexican spicy rice. Yeah, the tumble had a bit of a problem this week. No chips on Wednesday and Thursday. The fryer broke. And there were no bargies because the fryer broke, but there wouldn't have been any bargies anyway. This bargy week. And the weather. The weather has been all over the place. Cooler. Uh, it's been a bit drizzly, a bit damp. Uh, it's damp now. Which means I don't have to water things as much. Which is fair enough. You win some, you lose some. Ooh, um, was it Tuesday or was it Wednesday? Night cramps. Only one calf, but absolute agony. And... If you look it up on the internet, they say that they don't know what causes it. The thing is, is once you feel it coming on, you have to keep your leg moving, but you can't move your leg because it hurts so much, and um, it comes and it goes. You don't get it for ages, and it comes back. And they say it could be dehydration, but not for me that night. I'm of an age. So, whilst in the tumble on Wednesday, Thursday, I um, had an email from Plusnet saying my contract was over, or will be over in August, and um, I will revert to basically double. But if I go to their website, I could have a special deal. So I went to their website and it was seven quid more expensive. Here's the thing. Never take the first offer. I rang them up. I had a guy from Yorkshire who I couldn't understand. Not because he was from Yorkshire, but the line was poor quality. However, um, I think I'm paying an extra £1.50 a year. No, £1.50 a month for a year. So there you are. Um, don't take the first offer. Um, if your account is in good standing, just say I'm going. Lots of people are offering introductory deals and they want to keep you. So, yeah. Mind you, plus net, I have to be honest. No issues at all. Um, rock solid throughout the period of the COVIDs. Hmm. Yeah. Um, Yesterday, no, oh, Thursday, Windows 11. Actually, Mary Jo Foley, uh, drinking parlor on Untapped with her cat, Sirachi Ace Foley. Sirachi Ace is a Japanese type of uh, hops. Um, she actually broke the story that it was never said that Windows 10 would be the last version of Windows. It was implied, but it was never denied. And so along comes Windows 11. Already some problems with the tr trusted platform uh, chip. Saying that you've got to have one. I think most laptops have, but desktops, I'm not too sure. And the program that tells you if you can upgrade or not is distinctly broken. And there's all sorts of things. However, 
I don't really care about the start button being in the med middle. Um, the issue about snapping various programs on various screens rather good. And a lot of people are saying it's a lot faster. Um, this is just the first build, first public build anyway. So I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be free. It won't be out until the end of the year, and I'll probably sit tight um, because things. The last thing you want is things to go wrong during the pandemic. But a Windows 11, yeah, I'll go for that. And finally, Matt Hancock. Boris can't sack him because Boris is the same. Matt, yeah, Twitter is melting down with memes for Mr. Hancock and YouTube and Facebook and WhatsApp and everything else. Yeah. I just think, who would Mr. Drakeford go out with? Who would he be in a clinch with when he's in his shed? And he says, we're in the third wave, despite the fact that in Wales there's only 15 extra people in hospital. Hmm. Yeah. Um, he wants to keep us uh, with masks. Oh, actually, he doesn't. Masks he might get rid of. Um, I think that's because the scientific evidence is now showing that unless you have a full medical version, the N95, they're not that good. Um, so he says, oh, I might get rid of that law. Um, don't trust the guy. Especially since I'm um, building no extra roads in Wales. Yeah. Public transport coming home on the train last Saturday. Um, no social distancing. Standing. People squashed against each other. Um, if that was a pub, it would be closed down. But the trains in Wales run by, yes, a vague guessing. Mr. Vaughan guessing. Uh, Mr. Drakeford. Hypocrisy. That was my word. Absolutely. Anyway, so that's it for week commencing. Week commencing. Week ending. Must be the Hazy Jane, 26th of June 2021. Uh, thank you and bye bye.